Hey friends, today we are doing a springtime Disney Skyliner crawl. I am so excited. We are going to be taking the Skyliner to all the different resorts, getting alcoholic beverages and checking out any springtime decorations or desserts and then hopping around using the Skyliner as our form of transportation. So, let's go do this. This will be our first Skyliner crawl for 2021 and I think we're going to kick things off at Disney's Yacht and Beach Resort and see what they have to offer when it comes to Easter time and spring time and also if they have any specialty drinks. I love the Yacht and Beach Club. It's one of my favorite spots and I'm actually joined up with Jackie. Happy spring! Super enthused! Let's oh, hop to it. Let's hop to it. <laughs> Normally our friends Josh and Taylor would be with us but they couldn't make it so they will be with us in memory. <laughs> I think we need to check to see if they have any of the Easter egg decorations up here at Beach Club and then maybe head on over to Martha's Vineyard but take a look at all the construction at the main entranceway. Now we're gonna have to enter in by Cape May here which isn't open yet but I love Cape May. Looks like Beach Club is actually starting to decorate for Easter and I see some of those amazing eggs. Now, last year during Christmas time, they didn't have everything they normally would with like the uh, chocolate carousel. This year, it looks like they're doing a minimal like Easter egg display as well, but it's a start. Take a look at all the pretty eggs. I like the Ursula one, that's probably my favorite. But Dumbo comes in at a close second because of that hat. Is that Dumbo? It's the other side of the Ursula one. Oh wait, what? Yes. Ooh, under the sea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Martha's Vineyard is gonna have any special drinks at the moment. We always come a little bit too early, but last year for Halloween, they had my favorite Halloween drink. So I have high expectations for them. We used to call this Martha's Graveyard because no one was ever in here. Now it looks like it's the happening spot. Only two seats left. It doesn't look like they got any springtime cocktails yet, but they do have a watermelon margarita, and for some reason, watermelons just go hand in hand with springtime. I think I see a lot of watermelon decorations out at like Big Lots yeah. and Walmart. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. like, you know, barbecue, and you use your watermelon cups and your watermelon glasses. <laughs> and here it is. Look at that fanciness. So here we are, watermelon, grapefruit beer, cheers. Cheers to spring. Cheers to spring. Oh, that is good. Okay, all right, I like it. I like it, I do, I do like it. This is just drink one for the night, but I do like hanging out at Martha's Vineyard. It's very nice in here. Kind of reminds me of uh, Martha's like uh, living room. <laughs> mm. Fabio, you wanna, uh, is he in? Here. Look at the secret door. <laughs> right? Knock three times, open it. Oh, I wonder, look at how fancy that is. Oh, I thought he was going in that door. I thought it was gonna happen. <laughs> how you doing? Now I think we're gonna move along and if Martha's living room or Martha's vineyard is not up your alley, maybe Hurricane Hannah's might do you better. Hurricane Hannah's is basically the beach pool bar here at Beach Club and it is so fun. The atmosphere is nice. You get to uh, basically drink on the water side. They have a really bright green drink that's featured and it's I think it's for St. Patrick's Day, but I really like it anyway, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and get that. Look at this fanciness. Oh, look at it, I love it. That is nice. And we just get to sit here and drink it right next to the Lazy River. Isn't it cool that uh, Beach Club Pool has a Lazy River? I think the bartender called it the Shimmering Shamrock. So Jameson and a little Midori. I'm excited. This looks really, really festive. Ooh, that's got a kick. <laughs> that is definitely a strong shamrock drink. I like it though. Very good. Even though St. Patrick's Day ended kind of like, I think almost a week ago, and this is the first day of spring, I still am in the Irish spirit, especially on a, a, modern, uh, a Skyliner bar crawl. 
Jackie ended up getting that gigantic Easter egg. How much was it? $22. $22. I've never spent that much on chocolate before, but it's big. These are made by the Disney pastry chefs. It's like fondant. It's like a specialty. They're made like one at a time. So happy Easter. Yeah. And I didn't get here and it was already a lot. Oh, wow. So I'll carry it around through the night. We can nibble on it. Oh, I like that yeah, you idea. Yeah, some too. I'll nibble. Yeah. <laughs> But now it's time and we're gonna aboard the Skyliner and head on over to the Riviera Resort. I'm very excited because there's a special resort at Topolino's. We happen to have a reservation. So we're gonna get some springtime desserts, some drinks, and uh, catch a view. Ooh. Looks like we got a little bit of a wait. Only about five minutes. A little bit of a hold up. A little, a little bit of a hold up. End of the line over here. <laughs> Usually, I like to ask for a gondola without the wrapping on it so you can see clearly out it, but it looks a little bit too busy for that today and they won't be able to accommodate any requests, so we're gonna go with whatever they give us. We might actually just get lucky enough to get one without a wrapping. So you got this one is giving me a wrapping and that's gonna go to them. And then maybe this one's gonna go to us. We're getting yellow. Oh wait, no, that one's passing us. We're not going on that one. Oh, this is it. There's the one. Thank you. They call me mellow yellow. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> it's like a ride. It is. <laughs> Skyliner in flight. Woo! Afternoon delight. Oh. Afternoon delight. Yeah. Oh, there's the Riviera. Our Woo! next stop, right in front of us. Now we're gonna head on up to Topolino's. We have our reservation time. I'm so excited. We're gonna get close to sunset, and sunset on the Skyliner is the best. I love getting all those amazing views. I think it's so awesome that the Skyliner is open up to midnight. Midnight! And actually, they did update the hours to the park. So Epcot's closing at 11 o'clock, and they extended that almost all the way into April. Every time I walk into the Riviera, I just get taken back by the smell. It is so, like, glamorous. It's, uh, it's hard to say what it is. Are you rubbing yeah. sanitizer on your face? No! I, I thought she, like, grabbed the sanitizer I and was like... <laughs> no, no. I thought you were home alone in it. <laughs> no, no, no. Definitely. I also love all the French like uh, movie posters. Look at the Incredibles here, and they have them going all the way down this hall here. Each one is literally in French for the title. This is Frozen. That is so nifty. And then Zootopia, Inside Out, vice versa. We have to go all the way up to the tenth floor. 10th floor, which one's it gonna be? Uh -oh, which be? one's it gonna be? Any second now. G1, G2, G4, bingo! <laughs> I feel so elegant, like in this elevator. I feel like it's from the Titanic, look at it. It is so fancy, the floor has bow ties on. <laughs> <laughs> We had a reservation, but instead of taking up a table, I think we're gonna sit at the bar because we're only gonna get drinks and maybe a dessert. And that's okay because I love the bar area here. It's very nice and very elegant. Look at these bar stools. These are fancy. Hoo, hoo, hoo. They haven't started doing their spring dessert yet, but spring cocktails. You probably can't see it, but yeah, it's there. And I'm super excited because they sound delicious. I think Jackie is gonna get this one, and I'm gonna get this one because it's got Knob Creek in it, Orange Blossom, and Honeycomb. They're both $16, and they even have a mocktail for spring cocktails. This is really awesome. I knew we were gonna find spring cocktails today. A bada boom! <laughs> That must be the orange Manhattan. Right? Very fancy. Oh, ho, ho, look at that bad boy. I love it. It's very orange, which is fitting since it is an orange Manhattan. 
Jackie got the Le Flores Zoe. Yeah. And that looks really, really springtime. It even has a little flower in it. And it comes with uh, lemon and pomegranate. And I got, like I said before, the Orange Flory Manhattan. They are just fantastic. Yeah. Can we do a cheers? Yeah, we're going to do a cheers. A springtime cheers. cheers. Now be careful, you're spilling there. <laughs> this one's, they're so delicate. I got a little extra room on the lip. I don't have any extra room. No room, so I'm going to come to you. Cheers to spring. Cheers! <laughs> Oh, that's good. Yeah? Oh, I can taste the Knob Creek. That is delicious. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and of course, it was made with the Parks and Resorts Knob Creek Select. I love that fanciness right there. Yeah. One of these days, I'm going to get one of those bottles. I'm not too sure if you can see it, but on this little skewer, we have the orange peel and then the honeycomb. And can you see the honey slowly dripping into the drink? Isn't that amazing? Look at that. Yeah. You see it? Yeah. I don't want to like ruin the honey effect, but I want to stick it in there and just give it a little, little bit of a swirl around. Look at that. Yeah, honey is a nice flavor combination. I know. Let's see. <laughs> Ooh. This drink is definitely a sipper, and I want to carry it kind of like the Great Gatsby, you know? <laughs> Every day, not even the Great Gatsby, I think it's more like uh, Titanic or just something fancy because I want to. Maybe I'm just thinking Leonardo DiCaprio. Here, here. <laughs> I think we're gonna take our drinks outside and uh, finish them with a view. Hello! <laughs> wow, look how beautiful it is out here. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. I am definitely gonna be enjoying this drink a little bit more with this view. This is so amazing. The only thing is, is I can't really set my glass down because it's a little tilted here. But, wow, I'm really loving the view here. The Swan and Dolphin, Tower of Terror, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, my drink, thank you, Caribbean Beach, it's just beautiful, isn't it? Oh, and then you can see the pool down there, too. My all-time favorite thing about the Riviera Resort, though, are the railings, because take a look at this right there. I love it. One time, I'll tell you this story. I gotta tell you this story. The first time I stayed at the Riviera Resort, I got locked on this balcony right here for three hours, I think. So I wanted to, I, I wanted to record the sunrise, and the manager told me that I can come out here. So I got here at like 5 a.m., and he was like, but if I put you out there, you can't come back until the restaurant opens. So I said, <laughs> lock me out. And I sat out here with the coffee and just watched the sunrise, and it was one of the most memorable experiences I ever had at Disney World. Dedication. Yep. I love it. The lights are starting to turn on. It's a little windy out here. Almost finished with my drink, but I might want to stick around for the helicopter tour. What is going on here? <laughs> helicopter. There is just like nonstop helicopters yeah. flying around us. What is going on? They're not searching for anyone. These are paid tours. They're searching for us on the, the rooftop of the Riviera. <laughs> <laughs> the real cool thing is our next stop you can see from here over at Caribbean Beach we're gonna stop at the banana cabana bar which is right there oh look I can see the lights are turned on looks like it's pretty pretty over there but before we head to the banana cabana bar we have to finish up these drinks one last, last sip sips. here we go Ah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Time to roll out. Maybe we'll catch the sunset on the Skyliner. Yeah, sunset that. on the Skyliner. I feel like I just made that song up. Yeah, sunset fun. on the Skyliner. This is how doors work. <laughs> we could actually walk to Caribbean Beach from here, but I think it'd be funner if we got back on the Skyliner. And this is our elevator. <laughs>
it's always important to add more Skyliner in. You know, people want more Skyliner. I more Cowbell, more Skyliner. We're not going that way because we're going to Hollywood Studios. Oh. <laughs> It is more out of the way to actually catch the Skyliner to get it to the Caribbean beach than to walk there. But that's just something we're willing to do. Yeah. We're willing to ride the Skyliner longer than we should. <laughs> I love that we get our own Skyliners now though. Oh, are there two? Two! Um, you're heading to Epcot, I mean um, Caribbean beach, right? Yep. Yeah. Alrighty. Oh. Oh. Not Hello, that. friends. Not us today. Maybe this one. Is this one empty? I so. Is there a way you know if it's empty before it gets here? No. Nope. Please. It's just a guess. It's, really it's a stuff. guess. It huh? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> oh. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Riviera Resort, a Disney Vacation Club resort. If you are just joining us. We are on our way to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort with connecting flights to Disney's Hollywood Studios, Disney's Pop Century Resort, and Disney's Art of Animation Resort. That is so pretty. Mm -hmm. I know you're getting a little bit of a uh, reflection, yeah. but I love it. It oh. looks amazing. It's like a shining golden like pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. <laughs> Now we are at the transfer station, so we're actually going to head back to Caribbean Beach, but we're going to have to come back to this transfer station to catch the Skyliner over to Pop Century when we're done at the Banana Cabana Bar. So you can go to Pop and Art of Animation, and then that way takes you to Hollywood Studios, and then of course Riviera and Epcot that way. Another added benefit to actually taking the Skyliner over to Caribbean Beach is you get to walk around Caribbean Beach and it's very beautiful, yeah, isn't it? Really is. it's Look nice at this. It is so thing. beautiful. Yeah. Look at all these rooms and the setting. Everything is just really nice. I want to stay at Caribbean Beach I one day. Say that. They have hammocks here too. I'm going to end up getting sand all in my shoes, but I got to get on this hammock. It's a little bit windy. Oh. That was totally worth it. A little bit windy here now though. We're definitely feeling the wind. And there's that helicopter again. I wonder what it's doing. I feel like I feel like I'm in Goodfellas. Looks like we're gonna have to cross the bridge to get over the Caribbean K. Look at this bridge. That's Riviera. That's where we were just at. Do you guys say Caribbean or do you say Caribbean? What's the proper way, I wonder? This area is for your enjoyment from sunrise to sunset. So that means we have to get back here before sunset or we're not gonna make it through our little shortcut. And this is where we're actually gonna go for our drink. The Banana Cabana Bar. Look at how fancy it looks in here. I like the lighting and the tables. Definitely a little bit busy though. Right now the bar is open for takeout drinks or you can sit down and get something to eat. Ooh, yes! We got a fancy table. Look at this. It's a swing. I gave Jackie the sweet swing seat because it is very fancy. But yeah, there's two of them. To be fair. Yeah, because you know you got Humpty Dumpty, the chicken egg over there. He's traumatized. He is He's traumatized. Trauma she him. almost left him on the skyliner. Well, I did leave him and then we retreated. Yes. <laughs> I think I need to get myself something to snack on. So this pineapple coconut bread pudding seems like a good idea. Now, I don't know if it's as good as Ohana bread pudding, but we're going to find out. And then also, Maybe I'll get myself a beer because I mean this is like a really cool spot They have a lot of great Jamaican beers Last time I was here. I think I got the red stripe, but this time I think I'm gonna get the Havana I think a little mix-up is in due order. I've had a lot of mixed drinks so far, but no beers and I do love beer Oh, there it is I like it fancy 
We're gonna try to do this one-handed because I'm a pro. Oh my gosh. Can you challenge like a you're gonna do a one-handed pour? I'm gonna try. You're gonna try? It's ta it's skill. It's a little bit. Alright, so what I'm gonna show you. So first we're gonna well no you gotta turn it this side, right? Ready? Oh, like that? Ready? Yep. One-handed, you ready? I'm scared. Once if I spill it all yeah, over the place. I'm gonna definitely spill it all over the place. Alright, I'm ready. Don't try it. Don't try it if you can't. <laughs> ready? Here we go. Ooh. Oh wait, this is a 12 ounce can. Oh no, Nate! I was glad I stopped. <laughs> That's a 16 ounce can and this is Yikes. a 12 ounce cup. But it would have worked perfectly though. If it wasn't for you dang kids. Oh wait, maybe it'll fit in there all. I'm gonna do a normal. Oh no, it won't fit in there. Yeah. <laughs> I like Since I am getting some bread pudding, I think I need to... Yeah. What? Nothing. Well, just in case I spill. Right, yeah. You know? Spilly me. I love the fact that they have heaters out here too. Look at them all glowing red. Cheers! Cheers, Cheers to springtime! To springtime! Even though it feels like December out. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's not like a golden sunset but take a look at the skies right here. This is beautiful. I might just set up the camera and do just a little tiny time lapse and watch these clouds actually go by. It's very windy out though. Brief time lapse interruption, but the pineapple coconut bread pudding has arrived. And it looks phenomenal. I don't know what this is. Is this like icing? Like a, like a sweet butter. Or a sweet, yeah, it must be a sweet butter. <laughs> I'm gonna just try a little bit here. Look at that. So good. Oh boy. All in on the bread pudding here. It's definitely not no Ohana bread pudding. Mainly because I'm missing the ice cream, but it's still very good. And you can Maybe, taste. What's that? Is that ice cream? I don't oh think God, it's ice, ice cream. cream no. Try it. Oh my lord, it's ice cream. It's ice cream! Wow. Time to move along. Did you get your egg? I did this time. Alright. <laughs> Only one stop to go, and that's on to Pop Century, but because it is dark out now, it is extremely cold, especially with this wind. So we're making our way back to the Skyliner. Hopefully we'll warm up by the time we get there. And now we are back at the main Skyliner station. So we're going to take a little Skyliner ride at night. Well, we didn't time this too well, but it looks like the park has closed. And now we are going to be in a very long line. But this is a good look at what the lines are like at the end of the night. So Hollywood Studios is officially closed now and probably about a uh, maybe 15 minute wait. It was literally only about a 10 minute wait. So that's not too bad at all. I'll take that any day. 10 minutes, not too shabby. Ooh. Hey Brent, party Hi friends. Yes. Party at two. Two, six, nine. Fancy. Thank you. It's a night ride. A night ride on the Skyliner! <laughs> oh, we're taking off. It looks like the, the, the gondola is like going into the darkness, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And we're, we're about to do the, the same darkness. thing. Oh. It's very, very cold in here. But would you like a stick of gum? Oh. <laughs> no, thank you. That was super good. I wonder what kind of gum that is. It looks like, like Wrigley's peppermint spearmint type. Do you know what I used to love? Juicy what? fruit. Yeah, juicy fruit's good, but it'll run out of flavor in like in two seconds. Two seconds. Juicy yeah. fruit was done. Awesome flavor for two seconds, then driest piece of nothing you ever chewed in your life. Yep. In just a few moments, we will be arriving at the only floating Skyliner station at Walt Disney World Resort. Passengers can disembark here for Disney's Pop Century Resort and for Disney's Art of Animation Resort. Thank you for flying the Disney Skyliner. Bon voyage! That's us! We made it to Pop Century! Don't forget the egg! Thank you! 
now we made it to Pop Century. And it's kind of funny because I just did a video here where I did a tour of Pop Century and Art of Animation. And now I'm gonna come over and drink at Petals. I love Petals. It's such a fun little poolside bar. Hey, do you hear a helicopter? No. I'm telling you, this helicopter is following us somewhere. It is following us. I knew it. Looks like Petals is still celebrating St. Patrick's Day and they got the top of the morning Jameson Midori lemonade with a lucky garnish. Kind of sounds like the drink I had earlier today at Hurricane Hannah's. And then they have a Guinness Irish Stout and then they have green beers and then Dublin Your Luck, a double shot of Jameson and soda. So I think I'm going to get a green Goose Island 312. That sounds pretty fancy. It has gotten super cold out. It dropped below 60 degrees. So I think maybe we'll go inside and actually drink our drinks in the food cart area there. Just to warm up a little bit because it is really, really cold out. Oh, and there it is. Look at that fanciness. Pop! Sick and tired of all these people talking about. And we found a little booth and uh, time to enjoy the green beer. Cheers! Along with my green beer, Jackie ended up getting a, looks like a St. Patrick's Day cupcake here. You notice I've been basically drinking a lot more and she's been eating a lot more of the sweets and more of the springtime desserts. And I like that because it adds a little variety. But this looks good. Oh, it's a chocolate cake. Yeah, it looks like a chocolate cupcake. I'll stick to my green beer though. The other day at the Rosen Crown, I did have my fair share of green beers, but I couldn't say no. One last green beer for the year. 2021 St. Patrick's Day, and I think this is gonna be it. This is it. This is the last green beer, unless miraculously, like tomorrow, I end up somewhere that's selling green <laughs> you beer. You will, you will. You think that would happen? Yeah. I don't know, anyways. But now we need to move along. Exit only. And with that, I think that is it for me today. What a successful Skyliner crawl. Now, we actually uh, started around, uh, I think it was three o'clock we got here. It is 10 o'clock at night now. So a lot of times when you guys look at these videos, they're compressed basically into a 20 minute video. So it does take a long time, especially getting back and forth to different areas that we stop at, but it is so much fun. You will have so much fun if you did this just make sure you give yourself enough time to accomplish and do all the stops that you wanted to and uh, hopefully we're going to be able to do a monorail crawl again we always do things for like the season so we've done a halloween one a christmas one and usually it's me jackie and a couple other friends like josh and taylor the walt disney world couple uh today was just me and jackie and it was just as much fun i absolutely love it so i hope you enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it We'll see you next time. Bye.